I'm Teresa Von Regan, and welcome to Ageless Beauty. Today is the battle of the blow dryers. We have the smart, chic Dyson versus the dry bar, playful Buttercup. Who's gonna win the battle? All right, I'm gonna give you an honest review of the Dyson Sonic versus the dry bar Buttercup. I'm gonna talk about the features and benefits, what's actually on the device, but also how it blow dries my hair. When I'm investing two, three, four hundred dollars in my blow dryer, I wanna get the most for my money. I'm gonna talk about the features of each blow dryer. So let's first start with the Sonic. Now this is the Dyson Sonic, and I love that they have three different attachments. This is the smoother attachment, and they're magnetic. So I think that's awesome about the Dyson. The back of the Dyson has a heat setting and an air setting. And it has three different settings for each, which I love about that too. Here's your on off switch. This is your cooling switch. And the Dyson is just really sleek, very lightweight and comfortable to hold. And this is the dry bar buttercup. And I love the playful yellow of this dry bar blow dryer. The nozzle is really nice, um, but unlike the Dyson, this only has one nozzle for the blow dryer. And then your buttons are on the front, so you can see your on off switch, and then it has two different settings for a high low, and then it has three different heat settings, and then your cool setting up top. When I'm feeling the weight of both, the dry bar is actually heavier. And the Dyson feels a little bit lighter to me. Um, what I'm noticing too is it's a little uncomfortable with the buttercup with the knobs in the front. It feels more comfortable when I'm holding it. Um, the Dyson not having any knobs just feels smoother. So I like the grip of the Dyson better and the weight of the Dyson is a little bit lighter. Next, we're gonna get to the test and see how these perform on my hair. It's gonna be the Dyson on this side versus the Buttercup on this side. Before I start drying, I love to use Living Proof, the Nourishing Styling Cream. I'm gonna put like a dollop in my hand and then I rub it through my fingers and my hands and then I flip my hair and I get it good underneath and then all through the ends especially, and then I work it up to the roots. And a lot of people ask if my gray is natural, and yes, this is all natural. As you age and the gray hair comes in, you'll notice the texture of the hair changes and it's a little bit more coarse. I'm gonna start with the buttercup, and my technique for drying is I use a paddle brush, so I'm gonna start drying. about three and a half minutes into the process and it feels a little damp on the end still and at the top so I still need a couple more minutes of drying but I do like the healthiness that I'm seeing in the hair I will say I noticed with the blow dryer that the bottom setting here in the middle that's like a high cool and then the top is like a moderate heat I thought that they were gonna be all like heat settings, and then if I wanted the cool, I would use the snowflake. Me personally, like I like more heat. I know heat can be damaging, but if you have a good blow dryer, it will evenly heat the hair. finished blow drying with the buttercup and as I'm feeling the texture of the hair what I'm noticing is it feels really smooth and soft and with the buttercup they say that 32 natural minerals are blow dried into your hair I am noticing a little bit of frizz underneath so I'm not sure you know about that how I like that um, but overall I really like the way it looks the texture all right so let's move on to the Sonic Dyson on this side. All 
Okay, so what I'm noticing is I'm about two and a half minutes in, so a little bit less time than the buttercup, and my hair's about the same dampness when I was like three and a half, four minutes in with the buttercup. So now I'm ready to style my hair. I also personally enjoyed the handle of the Dyson Sonic better than the Dry Bar Buttercup. These knobs just seem to get in the way for me. Okay, I'm gonna finish styling with the Dyson. I finished drying and styling the Dyson side. What I'm noticing is it's softer and smoother when I feel it. And this side is like a little bit more frizzy feeling, like I mentioned at the end of blow drying with the buttercup. The other thing I'm noticing is maybe a little bit more volume in this part, um, the top part near the roots of my head, um, but it's very close. The other big thing to notice is the Dyson dried in seven minutes, dried and styled. The buttercup dried and styled in about 10. So the Dyson claims that they can dry in twice the speed. Um, the Buttercup also claims that they have fast speed. So the Dyson did a good job shaving off three minutes on my styling time and the smoothness and the texture in my hair feels better. Okay, the moment of truth. Who is the winner of the battle of the blow dryers? Who's gonna win that trophy? That number one trophy goes to the Dyson Sonic. As I mentioned earlier, I got the Dyson a few months ago. And I did an unboxing review, so check that out up here. And I'm gonna put in the description the links to both hair dryers, the Dry Bar Buttercup and the Dyson Sonic. There's some great deals with the links in the description. And then you can check out the styling products that I use as well in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, smash that subscribe, hit that like, and comment below what the video you wanna see next. Bye for now, fam.